What's up, guys? So this is for anybody that has uh, foot pain specifically, but you know I'm gonna go general, basically from the knee down. If you're having issues with the ankle, the calf, any of that stuff, I'm gonna show you a couple things that can be a quick fix for that. So problem number one is just our daily habits, and that's usually what causes a lot of our injuries. So if you look at your foot bone structure, it's meant to grab. You know, you have your uh, your, your foot bones, your metatarsals, and, and they're they're supposed to hit stuff and move around. Because we wear tennis shoes, you know, throughout the day, uh, because we walk on concrete, walk on flat ground all the time, we don't get that. And eventually, your foot develops a little imbalances in it, and it's going to cause you pain, unfortunately. So, the best thing for you to do is break up that tight tissue that's uh, that's you know occurring over time or getting worse over time. So, one way you can do that is get on a, a spike foam roller. You need something pretty hard, pretty tough. And basically, I call this seek and destroy. So you're looking for little areas that kind of feel tight and probably going to be a little painful. I've got one right there. And so you just want to spend some time on that. So sometimes if it's really bad, you can just step on it, put some pressure on it, and relax. Put the pressure on it, relax. You can start doing little micro rolls after that, and then you do bigger rolls where you're hitting kind of the whole foot area. If you don't have one of these, you can use a golf ball. They're just a very small hard ball. Make sure you do that on carpet, though. You don't want to mess up your hardwoods or any kind of form. Plus, that makes it stick to the ground. So you're going to have to spend a lot of time on it. I've had, I've had people do that, and they're like, well, it helped that first time I did it. I was like, well, did you do it after that? No, well, you got to do this on a regular basis to keep that tissue from getting tight. So, you know, you probably have to do that three, four times a week for a couple weeks before it's kind of better than hit it every, you know, one, twice a month. You know, just kind of do that as needed as you feel it getting tight. So another reason why the ankle and the foot may have problems is your tibialis right here may be tight. This is also where you can get the shin splints where you feel that the little muscle group gets tight. So you can uh, take a PVC pipe or just something hard and round and push on that muscle and same thing, sink and destroy. You'll find little tight areas. And you can also hit the, the backside of that calf muscle. By the way, if you touch your calf and it doesn't have a squishy, squishy or a sponge type feeling, uh, you definitely have a, a very tight calf muscle and that's going to cause you some problems later on. So if you don't feel it and it squishes, if you feel it's real tight, almost like you're flexing it at all times, that's not good. So you're going to have to uh, you know, take a PVC pipe or a foam roller and break up that tight tissue you know, around the lower part of the leg. One way you can also get the tibialis, it's pretty tough because it puts your whole body weight on it, is this movement right here. So guys, once you break up that tissue, and get that foot feeling better, you know, then what you're supposed to be doing is, is doing what I said in the beginning. Is the, the problem is that we're not walking on uneven ground like we're meant to be done, meant to do. We're walking on flat ground. So, you know, get on some rocks, like some, uh, some really, like river rocks that are really smoothed out. Something in that fashion where you're moving and your feet are having to grab stuff. Uh, it sounds kind of weird, but I do it a couple times uh, a month. Feet feel amazing after I just get out there and just walk around on some really hard, uneven surfaces. So find some areas to do that. Um, another way you can do that if you don't have access to that or can't find that all the time is doing some ankle rotations. So putting this band around the ball of the foot, the top of the foot, and just getting the biggest circles that you can possibly make. And that'll strengthen up some of these, these little bitty muscle fibers down here that, that are hard to get to if you're not walking on uneven ground and using them on a regular basis. So that is a way to, to fix some some foot and uh, you know anything under the knee, pain up under there, using those techniques can definitely help you out.